Boys, how to passively attract beautiful, feminine, wife tier women into your life. You can literally be sat in a Starbucks, chilling, doing your work, and you've got women buying you coffee with a note on the cup saying, please call me. Okay, this happened to me yesterday. Okay, excuse me, sir. A lady wanted me to give you this and it also comes with a message. Boom, crazy, crazy. To think just two years ago, I was sat in my mom's house in my bedroom with zero bitches, thinking how impossible it felt that I would be able to attract women into my life. And now here I am, I have a beautiful girlfriend and I don't talk about my girlfriend very much, but guys, like I flew her out to Thailand to be with me and that's because she ticks all of the boxes. She She's fucking amazing. She's a walking, talking green flag, okay? And then on top of that, I'm still able to attract women passively <laughs> while just chilling, doing my work. I don't have to do anything. They're just entering my life. They're entering my aura, my fucking, they're orbiting me. And that's, that's an incredible thing. So let's try and emulate similar results for you. Firstly, guys, um, you're being led astray by all of the, the pickup artists, okay? Like you should have the ability to cold approach. Sure, yeah. You should be interesting enough to be able to walk up to anyone and to hold a semi-interesting conversation. However, I do want to caveat that by saying just because you're not able to hold a exciting, interesting conversation with like low quality women, that doesn't mean that you can't cold approach. I would constantly beat myself up, perma trying to like cold approach women and just think to myself like, why can I not really like, you know, connect with any of these women? And the truth be told is because I didn't connect with most of them. 99% of the girls that you meet in the street, you're just not going to connect with. You're not going to align with them. They're not going to be very interesting outside of a one night stand. And if you're anything like me, that doesn't really interest you, man. You want a girl who you actually spiritually align with. So why do these pickup artists constantly put so much emphasis on the importance of cold approach and your ability to talk to typically drunk girls on nights out and shit. And you know, even if they're not drunk, again, like 99% of them, you're just not going to align with. And then you might be thinking, well, Sam, it's a numbers game. You have to do the time in the trenches and you'll find the 1%, right? And it's like, okay, cool. But how much is your time worth again? We're all trying to be like, you know, entrepreneurs, high value men here. Like how much do you value your time? Because let's say 99% of the women you're not going to align with, okay? That means 99 out of 100 women that you approach will just be vapid conversations which lead to nothing or at best a one night stand. Ooh, wow, amazing. Well, you wait, you have sex? You have sex, bro, really? Tell me more. Oh, that's so impressive, man. Sorry, I'll stop being so abrasive, but it annoys me, right? It, it annoys me, honestly. It can be fun. If you find, you know, walking up to random people in the street and just striking up conversations fun, awesome. I like to do that too, but I don't obsessively cold approach. I'm not watching cold approach videos on YouTube. How to cold approach top five openers. Like it's just very autistic. And let me put it this way, okay? Do you think someone like Brad Pitt is watching cold approach videos and watching like Alpha M and shit like this? No, of course not. This is the way of the superior man, guys. We want to passively attract beautiful women into our life, okay? We don't want to be actively like chasing it because <laughs> if you're chasing something, it's, it's running away from you, man. So let's drop the shadow, the hedgehog edgy vibes, okay? I have this sort of um, idea in my head that when I'm being like mysterious and I'm not smiling at people, I'm wearing my shades, I'm, I'm looking all cool and stuff. I have this idea in my head that like everyone's just looking at me and thinking, whoa, that guy's so mysterious and cool. And I'm sure here's a really fun puzzle to solve, man. Oh my God. I imagine the women just like obsessing over me like, like, oh my god, he's so fucking edgy and awesome. The reality is, it doesn't really work out that way. Most women that you meet, you're not going to see on an often enough basis to establish yourself as this like cool and edgy guy. If you are in, you know, the same environment every day, work uh, or school or the gym or whatever, this can work. You can be that sort of edgy, low key, sat at the back, chilling guy vibe, you know, and I can speak from experience. It does work and it attracts some pretty, you know, freaky women as far as I'm concerned and that's, that's cool. <laughs> but generally speaking, if you want to be attracting women into your life, you want to be a bit more of an open book. You want to be smiling. You want to be happy. You want to be inviting people into your 
wavelength, your energy, your fun, because that way it actually becomes a lot easier to attract the type of women who are on the same playing field as you. They're happy, they're fun, they wanna share that energy with you. You are the provider male of the good vibes, okay? And I want you to know this as well, like women orbiting you. If you find that you're in the gym and you're working out and this woman just so happens to continually work out next to you, she's like almost following you weirdly, like that's probably not an accident. She probably fucks with you. She's probably looking for a reason to talk to you or she's trying to give you a reason to talk to her. Okay, so bear that in mind. It's quite simple, really. You have to become him, that guy. You have to live an interesting life because guys, girls do just want to have fun. And if you're not already world famous, like I say, like Brad Pitt, okay, Instagram is an absolute must. It really is. Like, I know you might have your beliefs about Instagram that it's like cringe and it's a distraction. It's not good for your self-improvement, but quite frankly, my friend. Instagram is the modern day equivalent of a portfolio for you as a man, okay? It's literally a portfolio for you as a man, okay? So you're gonna have a much easier time connecting with women when you have that social proof of like, oh yeah, this guy, he has a bunch of really cool friends, he lives a really interesting life, he's probably quite good to hang out with, he's not going to murder me. Whether it's a guy who doesn't have an Instagram, it's just a bit like, why not, man? Like, do you not have a life to, to share with people? And I know that seems super sad, but like, that is just the reality of the situation that we're in. And also, it's great for business as well. You need an Instagram for business. It's essentially your portfolio as a man in terms of business, dating, friendship as well. I've made so many friends through Instagram. So it's a kind of a non-negotiable, guys. I hate to say it, it kind of is a non-negotiable. And guys, <laughs> this, this blows my mind, okay? But the type of fun that you have will reflect in the type of girl that you attract, okay? So let's explore. If you are the fun party guy, okay? If you are the most fun in the room, you enter the party and I was like, fuck yeah, Sam's here. Let's all do ecstasy together and buy a bunch of booze and have a good time. You're going to attract the fun party girls, okay? Obviously. So don't really have expectations for finding wifey tier women if you are fulfilling this archetype of being the fun party guy. Likewise, if you are the spiritually enlightened bro and you like to spend your time on the island of Koh Phangan off the Gulf of Thailand doing 10 gram shroom trips and meeting God, you're going to attract these spiritual hippie girls. And these girls are a very crazy mixed bag and it might seem obvious, but once again, the type of fun that you encompass, the type of man that you are, you're going to attract a mirror of that in terms of women. Now guys, <laughs> this one, just blows my mind the most, okay? Like, it blows my mind. If you're a red-pilled fuckboy and you're constantly seeking sex to fulfill your damaged ego, you're going to attract damaged daddy issues gyaldem, okay? And these are gonna be very surface level, not very spiritually dense, insecure, and fun relationships where you get to have lots of sex and lots of fun. Again, this seems really obvious, but of course you're going to attract women who fit into that archetype. Hopefully you're noticing of a pattern here, guys. Fuck boys when they attract a damaged women. Oh my God, how? How is this possible? Why? Why can I not find my wife? Oh, it must be the woman's fault. <laughs> all the fucking party bros. Why do I only attract hoes? What is this? Where are all the good women? <laughs> so fucking obvious. Anyway, oh man. The type of woman that you attract is a mirror of you. And this should actually excite you massively. You should literally be listening to this and thinking like, holy shit, that's actually so true, Sam. So if I want to attract like my 10 out of 10 dream girl, all I need to do really is become the type of man which is worthy of this 10 out of 10 dream girl. That's amazing. It's like you've just bought a new Lego set and you've got the instructions now. You didn't have the instructions before, so you were just playing around with it, like just putting blocks together, and like, what the fuck is this? But now you have the instructions. You wanna attract your 10 out of 10 dream girl, okay? Maybe it's uh, <laughs> maybe it's a fucking bad goth bitch, okay? How do I attract her? Well, I have to listen to uh, small indie bands, such as Arctic Monkeys, very small and indie. And I also have to learn how to skate, and I have to wear Vans. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you should, like, 
psychotically paint yourself into someone that you're not. But the truth be told, the type of woman that you are like pulled towards probably aligns with your personality type anyway. So now you just know what to do. You have your new Lego set. It's not put together yet, but you have the blueprint and now you just have to build it and that's it. Simple. How fucking exciting is that, bro? I fucking love building Lego. I'm sure you love building Lego as well. Fuck yes, man. Life as a man is awesome. Now guys, it's all well and good building into that man, but you need to also present yourself <laughs> as uh, that guy, him, okay? And this is something I completely forgot recently. Even though I have a girlfriend, I found myself falling into like this level of like really weird complacency where I was like, well, I've already got that shit unlocked. So I'm just gonna like not shower and not shave and not have a haircut and wear dirty clothes because it's like, whatever, bro, I've completed it, it's chill. And that is really, really bad for the polarity of any relationship and also just your self-esteem. Like I was feeling depressed and it's like, well, yeah, no shit, bro. Like maybe me behaving that way was just a symptom of me being depressed or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe I was just feeling depressed because I just fell off, bro. Either way, guys, do not forget the basics. Look good, feel good. And that's literally, guys, the first day I realized this, I got out the house, okay? I fucking had a shower, put on some sweet ass clothes, aftershave, did my hair, look and fly, went to Starbucks. The first day, okay, this shit happens with the coffee. It's no joke, guys. You have to look good and feel good. There's a 0% chance that this will work if you forget these basics. You have to be the prize. You are the fucking man. You're the man. You deserve to look good, man. Fuck it out. And I had this weird mindset in my head of like, well, I'm only doing like this. Like, I, for example, I'm only going to Starbucks to do some work. I don't have to get dressed up. It's not like an event or anything. I don't have to put aftershave on. Like, Bro, if you're not going to get dressed up for this, what what are you going to get dressed up for, man? What the fuck are you talking about? No, I won't wear aftershave. I'm only going to Starbucks. Like, Bro, just fucking put it on. You'll feel good. That's what it's for. <laughs> fucking hell, bro. But anyway, guys, do not forget the basics. And I've got a peacock there because it's true. You do have to... Girls, I'm a... over here. I'm I'm a fucking Chad. Look, look. Fucking hell, man. Basic shit. And I'm, I'm annoyed because I'm annoyed at myself. Like, I just forget this. Anyway, guys, also... Forget women exist. Pick up artists rely on you obsessively thinking about women and your lack of women and I, I, I don't have sex in my... Rah! They rely on you to have that pain so that they can come through with a sol solution, which is like, yeah, bro, you gotta learn how to fucking cold approach and like you got a uh, night game and fucking one night closes and all this shit. <sighs> It's a psyop! <laughs> Guys, the best thing you can do is just forget that women exist and focus on yourself, King. I know that's cringe. I know that's like a meme. There is legitimacy to that. Just focus on yourself, King. Bicep emoji. It's true. That's the most productive thing you can do. Think about it, guys. Maybe you've had a few relationships like me. I'll speak for myself and maybe other men as well, but I've never had a good relationship enter my life when I was obsessing over it. It's only happened to me when I forgot women exist and then she just fucking poof <laughs> appears in my life. Her Hello, wifey. Yes. Oh, perfect. I was, I was just... I was just focused on my work, but now you're here and it's like, well, that's actually quite a good addition to my life. You can come along for the trip. That's the only time I've, I've found good relationships. I've never, ever, not once discovered a gem of a woman while I'm obsessively thinking about women and my lack of sex. I've never once met a good girl on Tinder while I'm obsessively fucking swiping it with my triple membership and all this shit, it doesn't work. And the reason why pickup artists don't tell you this is because they need you to be in pain so that you can, they can fucking solve the problem for you with their fucking retarded program, okay? It's actually really simple. Women are repulsed by men who obsess over them and they are obsessed by men who don't care and have bigger things to worry about. It's as simple as that. <laughs>
And this has been my superpower, guys. Even though I am a bit of a fucking, like, social autist. I have an obsessive personality. I've just never obsessed over women. Every time I interact with a woman, it's with zero expectations. And I'm not wearing a mask. And I'm not trying to, like, reach into the back parts of my brain and remember some autistic advice that I heard on a YouTube video to try and secure this girl for the night. Like, I've never once. I, I've never given a shit. And this drives them insane. <laughs> They are, they, they, it drives them insane. They're like, why the fuck does this guy not give a fuck about me in the best way possible? Why is he so secure in himself and what he's doing right now that my presence doesn't even make a difference to his fun? For example, I'm out in the club, I'm dancing, I'm there to have a good time while everyone else is there to try and get laid. Do you know how insane that makes women. I'm just there dancing, having fun, and I could not give a shit about their existence. And that makes me like magnetizing to these women. They're like, holy fuck, all of these guys, they're so thirsty for me, but this one guy, what is it? Why doesn't he, why doesn't he like me? Why doesn't he find me? Is it, am I not attractive enough? Do I, do I have to like try harder? Am I not sexy enough? Am I not interesting enough? And then as this <laughs> thought process goes through their brain, they're like, just, upping the ante trying to get your attention. And I don't even have to do anything at this point other than just be myself. How incredible is that? Do your dream girl audit, okay? Build your blueprint now. Build your Lego instructions. Write down everything that you want in your dream girl. Even her fucking hair color, her fucking, her boob size. <laughs> boob size, a bra size, whatever, man. Like, just go into as much autistic detail as you want, yeah? And then most importantly, and this is what a lot of guys miss, is that you just need to write down who you need to be to attract that girl. And then all you have to do is try and align yourself as closely as humanly possible to that guy, that alter ego. And as time goes on, if you continue to align yourself as closely as humanly possible to that guy, you will just become him. And this is what self-development is. We're building towards becoming a better version of ourselves. Ah! Oh, but Sam, I need to be six foot four and a giga chad and I need to have been mewing since I was fucking three months in the womb to attract her. Shut the fuck up, bro. Get out of here with that shit energy. You have a 0% chance of attracting anyone or anything good in your life. If you harness that energy, okay, zero percent chance. Beyond women, just anything good, <laughs> anything at all, like good luck will run away from you. It will run away because you're so negative and you're so nihilistic. Ugh, think of all the, the fucking clapped ass men. Bro, I walk past some clapped dudes who are with absolute stunners and I think to myself, how the Fuck. And then the second thought I have is, well, they probably have something a bit deeper about them. Obviously. It's not all about your fucking looks, you dummy. And frankly, if you don't have looks, it's very important for your personality to be dialed in, man. Because that's all you've fucking got. So if you've got a really negative nihilistic personality and you're fucking clapped and you're not six foot four, then yeah, bro, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but it's up to you to change that. You can change that. So, oh man. Guys, uh, you are now a magnet for women. It is that simple. Swear down. <laughs> Funny. Do you think your fucking cavemen ancestors were reading the, the red pill uh, subreddit? No, bro. No. You've been led astray. People have made this far more difficult than it needs to be, okay? Because the more complicated something seems, the more likely you are that you look for deeper advice and you buy their their retarded uh pickup artist fucking workshop you know or whatever the fuck they sell honestly pain equals profit guys it's actually very simple that's how you become a magnet for women guys you're welcome if you have any questions at all join my discord server i'm active in there every single day this is a slower game but it's far more effective you'll attract far better women into your life and you won't have to chase these women will just literally boof appear in your life hmm i feel like I, I would love uh, a goth girl who enjoys um, giving foot jobs. <gasps> oh, there she is! Wow! Oh my god, lucky me! Wow. If you try too hard with women, guys, your interactions are just gonna be shallow because your standards are just inevitably 
gonna drop. And also, again, if you value your time, guys, like, I don't wanna talk to women who I don't spiritually align with for the sake of, like, getting good at talking to them. Like, why do I wanna be good at talking to women who don't interest me? It's silly. You could spend all of your time convincing women that you're awesome, or you could just be awesome. That's my message to you, my friend. Boys. A big part of attracting beautiful feminine women in your life is just having a mission which is above yourself. And also making money. Guys, <laughs> fucking hell, women are uh, not cheap, man. I was able to fly my girlfriend out to Thailand to live with me with the money I made through video editing. And now I teach over 500 young men how to do exactly that. And as you can see on the screen, we're getting excellent results inside of my Academy of Excellence. You could be next, seriously. Check it out in the description. We're back! And we're getting laid! <laughs>